isang matagumpay na pagpapalang muli sa inyo. Sa aking mga kamatinik, handa na ba kayo? Kunin na ang inyong mga gagamitin sa ating araling. Muli, ako ang inyong Maestro Olaso. Sama-sama tayong matuto. Before we begin, I would like to introduce to you my partner, Mateo. Hello, Mateo. Say hi to our viewers, especially to all the kids who are watching right now. Hello, kids. I'm Mateo. From now on, I'll be your math buddy. Thank you, Maestro Olaso, for including me in your math lesson. Yes, that's right. Mateo will be your math buddy. He will help you in answering some of the problems that I'll be giving. So are you ready, Mateo? What about you kids? All right, let's do Mathanong! What is the product of the following? Time is up! Let's check your answers! Here are my answers. 453 times 10 equals 4530. 453 times 100 equals 45,300. 453 times 1,000 equals 453,000. You did great, Mateo! How did you do it? I just rewrite the number 453 and write the number of zeros. Yes, that's correct. The shortcut way of multiplying whole numbers by 10, 100, and 1,000 is to write only the given whole number and write the number of zeros at the end. Good job, Mateo! And to all of you who got the same answers! Now, after knowing some of the techniques in multiplying whole numbers, you are going to learn in this episode, Multiplying Decimals and Mixed Decimals. Brace yourself! Let's do Matalakay! After this episode, you are expected to multiply decimals and mix decimals up to two decimal places. In multiplying a decimal by another decimal, you can multiply them as if they are whole numbers. In placing the decimal point in the product, get the sum of the number of decimal places in each factor. Let's try this example. 1 and 52 hundreds times 2 and 11 hundreds. To multiply decimals, step 1. Multiply as a whole numbers. Ignore the decimal points and multiply as if they are whole numbers. 152 times 211 equals... Step 2. Place the decimal point in the product based on the total number of decimal places in the given factors. Count the number of decimal places from the right. In this case, we have 4 decimal places. So... 1 and 52 hundreds times 2 and 11 hundreds equals 3 and 2,072 ten thousands. Let's try another example. Sometimes when we multiply decimals, we need to insert zeros in the product to make the correct number of decimal places. For example, 6 hundreds times 9 hundreds. Again, in multiplying decimals, let's follow these steps. Step 1. Multiply as a whole number. Ignore the decimal points and multiply as if they are whole numbers. Six hundreds times nine hundreds becomes six times nine equals fifty-four. Step 2. Place the decimal point 
in the product by counting the total number of decimal places. Count the number of decimal places from the right. We have four decimal places. Since we have only two digit numbers, insert two zeros to make four decimal places. So, six hundreds times nine hundreds equals 54 ten thousands. Yes, it is easy to multiply decimal numbers. Well, there is more about multiplying decimal numbers. Now, let us consider some special kind of products. The first involves multiplying by 10 and 100. Next, multiplying by 1 tenth and 100. Take a look at the following products. 6 and 18 hundreds times 10 equals 61 and 8 tenths. 6 and 18 hundreds times 100 equals 618. 6 and 18 hundreds times 1 tenth equals 618 thousands. 6 and 18 hundreds times 100 equals 618 ten thousands. All right, what did you notice about the products? Well, Let's ask Mateo. I noticed that when multiplying by 10 and 100, just count the number of zeros in 10 and 100. Then, move the decimal point to the right based on the number of zeros. While, when multiplying by 1 tenths and 100, just count the number of decimal places in the tenth or hundredth. Then, move the decimal point to the left based on the number of decimal places. Good job, Mateo! You are very good! In multiplying by 10 and 100, just copy the other factor and move the decimal point to the right based on the number of zeros. While in multiplying by 1 tenth and 100, just copy the other factor and move the decimal point to the left based on the number of decimal places. To check if you really learn from our examples, get ready and say, Matry nga! Find the product of the following decimals mentally. Number 1, 4 and 78 hundreds times 100. Number 2, 25 hundreds times 100. 100 Number 3 31 hundreds times 3 hundreds And now, Mateo, can you show us your answer? Sure, Maestro Olaso. Here are my answers. For number 1, 4 and 78 hundreds times 100 is equals to 478. Number 2, 25 hundreds times 100 is equals to 25 ten thousandths. Number 3, 31 hundreds times 3 hundreds is equals to 93 ten thousandths. You're so good! You got all the correct answers! Can you share to all our Kamathinik what did you do to get the answer? For the number 1, I just moved the decimal point two places to the right based of the number of zeros in 100. So, 4 and 78 hundreds times 100 is equals to 478. For number 2, I also moved the decimal point two places to the left based of the number of places in 100. So, 25 hundreds times 100 is equals to 25 ten thousandths. And for number 3, I multiply as a whole number. Ignore the decimal points and multiply as whole number. 31 hundredths times 3 hundredths is just like 31 times 3 is equals to 93. Then, I put the decimal point 4 places from the right 
based on the number of places in the given factors. So, 31 hundredths times 3 hundredths is equals to 93 ten thousandths. It seems that you already understand how we multiply decimal numbers. Because of that, I expected that all the things you learned today would be Mahtandaan! Mateo, can you tell them again how do we multiply decimal numbers? Today, I have learned three things. First, in multiplying decimals, ignore the decimal points and multiply as if they are whole numbers. Place the decimal point in the product from the right based on the total number of decimal places in the given factors. Second, in multiplying a decimal number by 10 and 100, just move the decimal point to the right based on the number of zeros in 10 or 100. Third, in multiplying a decimal point by 1 tenth and 100, just move the decimal point to the left based on the number of decimal places in 1 tenth and 100. This time for our final activity. Brace yourself, it's Mathematics time! Let's check now your answers. Number 1. In multiplying decimal number by 10, move the decimal point in 63 and 85 hundreds. One place to the right based on the number of zeros in 10. So, the answer is 638 and 5 tenths. Number 2. In multiplying decimal number by 100, move the decimal point in 123 and 45 hundreds. Two places to the right based on the number of zeros in 100. So, the answer is 12,345. Number 3. In multiplying decimal number by one tenth, move the decimal point in 89 and 7 tenths. One place to the left based on the number of decimal places in one-tenth. So, the answer is 8 and 97 hundreds. Number 4. In multiplying decimal number by one hundredth, move the decimal point in 635 and 78 hundreds. Two places to the left based on the number of decimal places in one hundredth. So, the answer is 6 and 3,578 ten thousands. Number 5. In multiplying decimal numbers, multiply as full number. 12 and 42 hundreds times 23 hundreds is just like 1,242 times 23 equals 28,566. Then, Put the decimal point four places from the right based on the total number of places in the given factors. So, the answer is 2 and 8,566 ten thousands. Alright, how many of you got a score of 4 or 5? 
Wait! You outbid yourself today! To those who got three below, do not worry. You can now review your self-learning module and you can still watch the replay on our YouTube channel. Natapos na naman ang ating aralin. Naway kayo'y may natutuhan sa ating mga tinalakay. Muli, ako ang inyong Maestro Olaso na nagsasabing, ugaliing manood at makinig upang maging matinik sa mathematics.